What's the most unlikely thing that could happen to you? But what are some of the most unlikely things that could happen to you during your life? To start with something more easy Lottery's gotta be one of them, right? Imagine walking into a room with 30 random people. There is a 1 in 12 chance that you would share the same birthday with somebody oh. else in that room. Which seems unlikely, but it's almost infinitely more likely Thanks, than some Nog. other future probabilities later in this video. If you, you have only about a 1 in 100 chance of developing a brain tumor during your life, and a 1 in 102 chance of getting killed in an automobile accident if you live in the US. Medically speaking, you have a 1 in 500 chance of being born with 11 fingers or toes, which is still Wait, that's a lot higher than I would have thought. player ever going pro, which is only 1 in 598. Holy in shit. In fact, it's very unlikely that any random high school athlete will ever make it to the pros. Prime Verge with baseball and being studios. 1 in 659, football at 1 in 4,233. Oh! Damn, what? What a jump. So, 1 in 500 for hockey. Even baseball is not bad at 627, but football, holy shit. Well, dude, like, I've been saying this for a long time. Football players are probably the most athletic people on the planet. Like, genuine superhumans. Some of those defensive tackles, like, I remember Julius, uh, what was his name for the Carolina Panthers? Defensive tackle, I think it was Julius Pepper. It might have been Julius Pepper. He was, like, 380. And he ran, I think it was a 4240. Was it Julius Peppers? Okay. Yeah, that guy, he was like, he was over 300 pounds or some shit, and he ran like a 4240. They are actual superhumans. He also had a crazy vertical leap, too. Oh, he was 280, not 300. It, I knew it was something crazy, though. Like, it was an incredible, incredible number. Soccer at 1 in 5,768, and most challenging of all is basketball at 1 in 11,771. Oh! To throw some more numbers in there, God to see damn! how likely these statistics really are. Get the fucked, basketball players. The four digit pin code are 1 in 1,000, and the odds of you bowling a perfect 300 point game are 1 in 11,500. But all of these are more likely than you getting struck by lightning, which you have a 1 in 12,000 lifetime chance of happening to you. That's in actually US. higher if than I thought. If your skills at golf are average, then you have a roughly 1 in 12,500 chance of hitting a hole in one at the golf course, which is still much more likely than you getting murdered in the US, which you only have a 1 There's in 18,000 chance of per year. We're starting to get into the pretty unlikely. This was made in 2018. I imagine that's gone up quite a bit, so you're probably more likely to get murdered murdered than you are to hit a hole in one by now I would think uh, I'd have to check he's probably gonna need to make like an update the events now so with that being said you only have a one in 54,000 chance of dying from a beast the only one in 88,000 that's what you that's super dependent on how good looking you are if you're really good looking your chances of dating a supermodel probably go from one in 88,000 to like one in eight maybe like, this has to be, like, from the perspective of just fucking greasy-fingered, Dorito-dusted gamer or some shit, maybe. The odds of you being dealt a royal flush are just 1 in 649,740. Which is only slightly more probable than the risk of the asteroid 2017 YZ-1 impacting Earth on June 30th, 2047. Which is a 1 in 670,000 chance. Damn, that sounds like a guarantee. Fast forward ahead to the very Fuck. unlikely events that probably won't ever happen to you or anybody else that you know. The odds of you getting killed by a terrorist in the U.S. are just 1 in 4 million. And the risk of you getting Whoa. eaten by a shark are even lower at just 1 in 8 million. You oh, have a kind of real quick, you want to know a fun one that I know? It's probably not going to be on here because this is 2018. Your odds of getting killed at a gender reveal party are... Uh, you're twice as likely to get killed at a gender reveal party than you are to get eaten or killed by a shark. So just keep that in mind. That, that would probably be somewhere between shark and the uh, terrorist one. 8 million. You have a kind of surprising 1 in 10 million chance of becoming the president of the United States if you're a U.S. citizen. Which Maybe is even one more soup. likely than you dying in a commercial plane crash at the very, very low odds of only <sighs> 1 in 11 million. <laughs> I don't and believe that. Even that's more ludicrusly propaganda. unlikely events. Like your risk of getting killed by an asteroid impact at just nah, it's 1 propaganda. in 74 million. Flying's dangerous. I'm not doing it. So you're literally more likely to get hit by an asteroid 
destroyed and die than you are to win the jackpot of the Powerball Lottery, where the odds are a staggering 1 in 175 oh. million. Back in 2016, the Powerball jackpot reached $1.6 billion, dollars, and you stood a better chance of winning that than you ever would have at winning the comparatively small $1 million grand prize of the McDonald's Monopoly what? game at just 1 in 451 million. But even still, there are people that these statistically unlikely events actually have happened to. But the next events are so unlikely that they may never happen to anybody in history. Like picking a perfect NCAA bracket at a chance of just no, what? 28 billion. You're telling me it is more likely to win the actual Powerball than it is to have a perfect bracket? I find that so hard to believe. Have, has there never been a perfect March Madness bracket? I, I thought for sure I remembered hearing about a perfect bracket when I was back in college. Never. Huh. That's shocking. NASA claims that the odds of you getting killed by a falling satellite are just 1 in 21 trillion. And if you haven't studied for that test coming up in a few days, you should know that the odds of you passing a 100 question multiple choice exam by guessing on every question are only 1 in 750 trillion. But the most unlikely yeah, that thing right. that I'll be talking about in this video that could happen to you seems pretty mundane at first. Shuffling the same deck of 52 cards and getting the same order of cards twice. The odds of you doing this are roughly 1 in 80 un <laughs> or 1 in what? 8 0.0658 times 10 to the 67th power, or an 8 with 67 oh zeros. Oh my fucking god! Important. There are more ways to arrange a deck of cards than there are atoms on earth which means that every time you've shuffled a deck it's very likely that exact order of cards has never I knew that been seen in human history and likely never will be again but the best way that anybody has ever described this, in my opinion, was a user called Leo Frick on a Reddit thread that I've linked in the description. His quote roughly reads as follows. 8.0658 times 10 to the 67th is such an enormous number. Imagine that you set a timer for that many seconds. Stand on the equator and take a step forward every 1 billion years. When you've circled the entire Earth once, take a drop of water out of the Pacific Ocean and repeat. When the Pacific Ocean is empty, lay a sheet of paper down, refill the Pacific and repeat. When your stack of paper reaches the sun, look at your timer. It seems to have barely what changed. Is, what the fuck you is going with on? 8.0658 times 10 to the 67 seconds, and now you still have 8.063 times 10 to the 67 seconds still remaining. To kill the time further, you start doing something else. Shuffle a deck of cards and deal yourself five cards every billion years. Each time you get a royal flush, buy yourself a lottery ticket. Each time that ticket hits a jackpot, throw a grain of sand into the Grand Canyon. When the Grand Canyon is full, take one ounce of rock. What the fuck is Everest, happening? Empty the Grand Canyon and start the process. This is the most Reddit shit again. ever. When Everest has been completely removed from the map, check the timer again. There's still barely any change. It's now at 5.364 times 10 to the 67th seconds remaining. You would have to repeat this entire enormous process 256 times to run out the timer to zero. The reason this is so complicated is because of a mathematical principle called factorials. You can figure out how many combinations a deck of 52 cards can be arranged into by multiplying 52 by 51, by 50, by 49, and so on until you get down to 1. That's how you get a number as ridiculous as this. So the math that goes into figuring out something like this is one of the most confusing things that I've ever experienced in making videos for this channel. That is knowing probability shocking. Can be extremely rewarding. The next time you go to a casino, for example, it would be good for you to know that playing Blackjack is where you're most likely to win any kind of money and your starting hand determines what you should do based on probability. If your hand starts with 12, you only have a 31% chance of busting bits, Robert, on the thank you. card. But if you start with a 20, your odds shoot up to 92%, and you can see everything else in between. I learned all of this and more by taking the course on Games of Chance over at Brilliant.org. That was interesting. I knew about the card thing where, like, if you shuffle a deck of cards, there's a very good chance whatever combination the cards end up in has never been seen before in the history of the world. Which is, it, it's so weird to me how a deck of cards could have that many possible arrangements. Because it doesn't really, like, on the surface, it doesn't feel like it has that many. But apparently it does. Pretty cool, though. Never heard of the 
Un Uvin Uvin Tillian? Never heard that number. Alright, give me a second. I'm gonna go say goodnight to Tiana real quick. <laughs> Chilling footage from America's most haunted school unexplained. I bet I can explain it. Experts are investigating one of America's most haunted schools. And the second floor we're at now is more of like the kid-friendly, light, bubbly kind of atmosphere. Man, what the we're fuck are you talking about? 3 p.m. when What's kids get out of school. The best thing to do right now is to just set up our static cam, face it towards the baby powder and the bells in front of the auditorium, and at the end of the hallway. Thanks for some buffalo. If the residual haunting is here, and the kids leave and race outside to get home, <laughs> they'll be crossing those bells. I would love to hear what those What are you off. talking I'm about? <laughs> what? Let's just suspend disbelief for a moment. Let's say this place is genuinely haunted by the spirits of some kids. This guy's talking about it like they're not ghosts, but they're in like a different dimension. Well, if, when school's out and the kids want to go home, they're gonna have to run past our balls because they're leaving the school. My man, it's a fucking haunted school. They'd be like locked to it, right? Like their spirits would be trapped here or some shit. They're not gonna be like running to leave school to go home. These are the experts? What the hell was that? What? What, what am I listening for? It sounded like somebody moved. It was probably your friend. If I'm really hearing that or if I'm just hallucinating that, that was weird. So we were up here setting up bells for our next experiment, right? And we ran downstairs to get our cameras and we come back up to footprints that are- If you want real hauntings, go to Sam and Colby. <laughs> All right, I'll tell you, there, I, there's no such thing as real hauntings, but I, I'm down to be proven wrong. Let's see if Sam and Colby can do it. Oh, this- this does, oh, it's an hour? So were you being, you had to be being sarcastic, right? Hopefully if you have our notifications on. Everything, just like you said, was yeah. spot on. It was almost unbelievable. Okay, so you were being sarcastic. Cars tell. This guy, John, what's freaking me out right now is that there's a footprint down here. It's like the size of a child. And it might be hard to see on camera, but it's, it's so tiny. Right here. What are you- what are you talking about? There's nothing- There's nothing there! You- you put baby powder on a floor- on the floor and there's still nothing there. Also, here, I'll look this up real quick. I- I'm... Confident you didn't actually find one of my deleted videos, but I'll look anyway. Just for the sake of checking, just to be certain. Hello, everybody. It's good. I see. It's like it, it hit it and it realized it and it was scared to walk on the carpet or go any further. It was worth checking out. See, that is really baby powder. Yeah. See, it's not just markings, it's on my finger. See that? Huh. And we cleaned this floor beforehand. We decided to roll our static camera as we returned downstairs. I can't believe what we were about to capture. What do we got? <gasps> One of the ghosts is banging pans. <clears throat> is this really the best thing, the best they could do? My man, go downstairs and just to hit me, pans this is together. The greatest form. Of residual hauntings, if not a haunting itself. What are you talking about? Before we conclude this episode, that was the whole I episode. Have one question for you: Do you fear the unknown or embrace it? Oh. 
Oh, man. I thought, like, at least something was going to happen. Like, they'd at least try. All I did was make a couple of noises. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Not even the YouTube comments are on their side. Usually on anything paranormal, the people are like, Oh my god, I can't sleep now. My husband controls my life and I love it. That's an alarming title. God damn it, I gotta, I gotta see it. Looks like a psychopath. A Holy shit. Dominant males. For myself, this is I weird. have certain rules. This is making for, me feel weird. You know, keep him happy. So my mom, she taught me how to cook, how to clean, how to be a good wife, how to please my man, and... Why is this so aggressive? Also, John was going on and on about being alpha. <laughs> Meanwhile, he has Lego dump trucks and heavy equipment on his shelf. <laughs> I am the alpha of this household with my Lego excavators. Monica, you harpy, you're not welcome in the, the headquarters, the command center. Oh, he's even got little action figures up here, I just noticed. Uh, would you mind making some pancakes? Yeah, sure. Uh, want some whipped cream with the pancakes? Hell yeah. yeah. Let's make some bacon too. <laughs> awesome. okay. Thank you. Cool. Love you. Love you. Thank you, Monica. I, I try to make him happy the whole day, you know, throughout the day, and he does the same for me, so... Yeah, I would say 90 Yeah, this is definitely fake. Also. This is very fake. My husband, which I love. Uh, they used to do like real stories though. With, uh, this feels very it fake. Feels the luxury I have that probably most guys watching this wish they had just because of like genetic programming. If you look at all other mammals, how they do it, typically the alpha male gets to bang all the females. Uh, I, I think it just yep. makes for much. Very more alpha. Tidy up at home. Yeah, this one feels the very house, fake. Nice and clean, so John. Is happy and content with the house. All right, babe. You're gonna go to the. Uh, right. Hope the conversation goes well with your friends. So I'll see you okay. later. I'll see you later. <laughs> he went off script there for a minute. Hi, or maybe that was part of the script. They used to do real stuff though. That was a good ass slap though. A lot of force behind it. Probably shit herself on it. Nice. Good work, John. Jake Paul knocked out Woodley. I don't care, man. Isn't that guy like 80 years old? Was it at least fun to watch? No, it was boring. Yep, it always is. That's why I didn't watch, and that's why I didn't go to it. And I'm pretty sure they are at least planned. Probably not scripted, but planned. Like the outcome is already put in the books. Have you heard of the raw rotting meat diet? Yeah, of course I have. It's called high meat. Yeah. You eat... <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that's the one right there. You just leave food out to collect all kinds of disgusting garbage and you eat it you know what's really upsetting these fucking people never die from this meanwhile i'll get a tummy ache if i eat a little too much ice cream then you have fucking meteor man eating an actual 125 day maggot infested rotten sack of meat with no problems it makes me so mad i honestly think a lot of them fake it they don't no they, they actually don't most definitely faked okay I don't know this channel, this all but we're gonna have to watch it. They don't fake it. I've known about this community for a while. It's not bad. A lot of people will say it tastes like cherries or cherry wine. And it stayed really moist. So let's put this baby over. Yeah, oh, that's side. the good side. Let's see what's going on. Over yeah. Here. Yummy. Yeah. What? Tastes is pretty strong though. Yeah. yeah. It's not fake. It's a whole community of people that eat rotten meat. High meat. It's been around for years. I don't know how they don't die from it, but they don't. How can you watch that without wanting to throw up? Well, I've known about it for a really long time. They believe that it's really good for you. So they eat raw meat and they eat high meat. It's a community of people that just are fucking stupid. Charlie, you're the brainwashed one for having chemicals in all your meat. Are you joking around? I actually can't tell. Oh, yeah, wait. I, I see. Yeah, no, I see what you're saying. I thought that was serious for a second. 